career start last night when he faced Matt Ryan and the Falcons. The Falcons picked up their picked up their offense actually late in the quarter, but it didn't it didn't help. Julio Jones had a career game, but the Packers held on for the win, 43 to 37. Aaron Rodgers was 24 of 36 for 327 yards and three touchdowns. You know, sometimes games are going to be like this. we got to score 43 points and put up 500 yards and pick up our defense. But uh, if that's how I have to win, we will. The uh, are ahead of schedule, folks. Look ahead at their schedule and ahead of schedule. So we asked this question. Do you believe that they are the best in the NFC? Stephen A. Smith. i got to be honest with you, Skip Bayless. Right now, I do not believe them to be the best team. I do believe that they'll be the best team if they play at Lambeau Field. But the best team overall in the NFC right now, I'm going to have to give that to the Seattle Seahawks. Mm. I believe that right now, the way the Seattle Seahawks are looking as formidable as they look defensively, mm. I think that they're the one team that can go anywhere and beat anybody. Do I believe they would beat Green Bay and Lambeau Field? I'm not going that far. No. Not against that bad man. Not yet. I need to see these last three weeks of the NFL season. But I am willing to concede that they have a better chance of beating Green Bay in Green Bay than Green Bay would have of beating Seattle in Seattle. Okay. And by, by virtue of that, I am willing to acknowledge that right now, I wouldn't say that Seattle looks like the – I'm sorry, I wouldn't say that yeah. Green Bay looks like the best team – in the AF in the NFC, but I do believe yeah. that if they have home field advantage, right, uh, that they should be the favorites. But it would be contingent on that. Whereas with Seattle, you're not even thinking about Seattle or the road. You're just thinking about them overall, and you're saying the way that defense is playing, the speed that they have on defense, the intimidation factor that I believe has elevated over the last few weeks, particularly once Cam Chancellor took those two weeks off and came back, and he's healthier. Earl Thomas is back. He's doing his thing. Bob Bobby Wagner's there. They're doing their thing. That defensive line with Avril and Bennett and those boys are doing their things. Yeah. And Russell Wilson is finding a way to make plays. Golden Tate obviously wants his shine. He's sitting there talking about, uh, I'm sorry, not Golden Tate, Doug Baldwin. Yeah. Because Golden, Golden Tate, Tate also in, wants he's his in, shine. He's yep. in Detroit. Yeah. And obviously, you know, uh, uh, Percy Harvin is with the New York <laughs> Jets. Uh, but but Doug Baldwin wants his shine. Mm -hmm. Cursing those boys, locking and those boys can play. Yep. They want their shine. We'll see if they earn their stripes in the days and the weeks to come. Uh, but right now, Green Bay should be the favorite. But I would say to you that I can't definitively say they're the best team in the, a in the NFC because Seattle has come on strong. I am shocked by your stance on this because are you, are, are you suspecting that that bad man that is Aaron Rodgers could actually lose at Buffalo or maybe at Tampa Bay or maybe even to Golden Tate's new team, Detroit, I'm back gonna, in Lambeau. I'm going to say this to you one time. I'm going to okay. say it because right now, if you don't start listening to me, I'm going to throw a cup of water on you. Okay. Wow. I need you to listen and listen good. I, I would melt of, if you threw water I, That's right. <laughs> Outside of Seattle, meaning the opener oh. against Seattle this season, I never, ever have nor can I ever imagine blaming Aaron Rodgers for a Green Bay loss. When Green Bay loses, it is usually because of their defense. It is okay. not because of the best quarterback in the game of football, the eminent league MVP, okay? It is not because of the bad man that he is, Aaron Rodgers, mm. who will probably go down as the greatest quarterback in NFL history when all is said we, and done. We will debate that okay? later in it the show. It is not because will of we? that. Yes. It is because. I, I'm tempted to debate it right now. Do it I'm now. Do it now. I'm to bite my tongue. <laughs> because of that ass. defense. I'm just saying. Yeah. It's because of that defense. Yeah, because just of that Just so you defense. know. Okay, so you don't trust that that defense can win a game at Buffalo? Is I, that what I, we're I, saying here? Skip Bayless, when have you heard me say I trust Green Bay's defense at all? Well, Even I, last night I was disgusted with them, and they, and they were leading comfortably. I don't think Atlanta should have ever scored 37 points on them. I don't think Julio Jones should have been, you know, the impersonate, as great as he is, and I know he's great. Yeah. It, I don't think he should have been impersonating Jerry Rice last night, mm. but it's against Green Bay, so why am I not surprised? I think surprised? he was impersonating Megatron last night at his best, at his greatest, right? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. I believe that Seattle can win at Lambeau and probably will have to win at Lambeau Field and will win at Lambeau Field. But back to the game quickly. You know, the Packers could have been in some serious trouble last night if Julio Jones 
hadn't fallen hard on his hip with seven minutes and 19 seconds left in That's the game. True. And, and he was only able to sort of teeter along the sidelines. I was surprised he didn't go back in, but I'm assuming the doctors said no. Either the doctors or Julio said, nope, you can't go back in. And I'm not sure where that leaves Atlanta going forward as they try to survive and salvage what's left of the NFC South. Because without Julio, I'm, I'm not sure I'm going to give him much of a shot if, okay. in fact, he can't go. That's right. And he could not go for seven minutes and 19 seconds of a game that got all too close for comfort for the home team and the home crowd, right? But you know what? I'm, I'm going to give your Packers, and I do call them your Packers. He's, it's just your quarterback. That's my quarterback. That. Yeah. That's right. I'm, I'm going to give this it's my teammate quarterback. Yeah, he yes. is. Why don't you cry some <laughs> my crocodile tears? He's my, my, my quarterback. He's my teammate. Okay, I, I'm going to give <laughs> your right. defense a break on this one. Your defense was so good against my Patriots just a week, what, whatever, a week and a day ago, that I was won over by that effort. They held Tom Brady and company to 320 yards, which is no small feat. Right. 21 points, even though if Gronkowski cradles that one little pass in the end zone, we could be having a different conversation. But 26 to 21 Green Bay at Green Bay was highly impressive to me. Okay. So I think that Green Bay's defense in the second half just let down a little bit. They're up 31 to 7 at halftime, and they're like, man, eh, we got this. Mm -hmm. And they probably started having a little too good a time, as your quarterback is often yes. want to do at yes, home. Yes. And all of a sudden, Julio turned back into Julio. And the one knock on Dom Capers as a coordinator over the years has been if one player is on his way to maybe a career night or a huge game, he will not adjust to any one player. He says, we are who we are, we play our schemes, we just keep doing what we do. And last night, they just kept doing what they did. Yeah. There were times it looked to, again, I'm not sure what the coverage was, but it looked like occasionally he had single coverage while he was on his way to his career night. And if he had been able to walk and run the rest of the game, I, I think Green Bay could have gotten in trouble. But I'm not going to condemn the defense just for that. Okay. But going forward, from what you saw of Seattle at Philly against Chip Kelly's high-powered attack mm -hmm. that demolished my Cowboys on Thanksgiving Day at Jerry mm -hmm. World, I think they could go in and contain Aaron Rodgers and company at Lambeau enough for them to win the game. Well, see, the thing about it is the Seattle Seahawks don't have a high-powered offense. They have a quarterback who's just uh, cerebrally brilliant, number well, he one. He can make some plays. He can make some plays. Uh, he's a thinker. He's incredibly smart. He knows yep. what he's doing. But they don't have an explosive offense. They wear you down. They beat you up. They're physical. Their physicality is their signature, not just on defense, but with their running game. One of the things that, you know, the Richard Shermans of the world and others pointed out to me with the Michael Bennett's of the world, the Cam Chancellors of the world took the liberty of pointing out, uh, particularly this past week, and they said, listen, man, of course Percy Harvin was big time as a talent. Of course Golden Tate can play. There's no question about it. But... Although they're missed in certain respects, Doug Baldwin can play, Curse can play, Lockett can play, but more importantly than that, Skip, their signature is to dominate on defense and be physical on offense, meaning go to beast mode yep. and wearing you down. That's who they are. They have two and other it, pretty it, good it, running backs. That's right, but, but, but they're saying that they acclimate better yep. to that kind of system, to that kind of yep. philosophy. It's, it, it's, it's, it's their identity. And so it, it, gets, it gets me to thinking about teams. You know, when you know your identity, there's something that to, be, to be said for that on a very, very positive level. And I can't sit there and diminish that reality. If that's who they are and that's how they work, fine. But what they're saying is they just try to beat you up. They wear you down. Let me use it. You know how I like to use my boxing analogies from time to time. Remember Tommy Hitman Hearns. You know that. This boy could take, put you to sleep with one punch. Ask Roberto Duran and a, a Pepino Cuevas and a few others. A lot of boxing fans out there don't know that name, Pepino Cuevas, but I'm talking about because his head turned 180 degrees when he got knocked yeah. out by Tommy Hitman Hearns. Sh Sugar but, Ray would have a different view. Sugar, Sugar, they would have, Sugar Ray would have a different view. Yeah. But Hearns would take you out that way. Marvin Hagler beat you up. Mm -hmm. Marvin Hagler wore you down. The marvelous one. He just he methodically came about the business of wearing you down, wearing you down, wearing you down. You knew there was a difference, but it made the punishment more severe. That's Seattle's mentality. And so for me, I like that. I respect that about them. Whether that would work at Lambeau Field, I'm not so sure. 
I know it would work in Seattle, and that's where I think about okay, it. Okay, I'm on record. I'm saying if, hypothetically, it comes yep. down to Seattle at Green Bay, I got Seattle in that well, game. Who I, do you have? I, right now, I would say Green Bay if it's at Lambeau Field. Yeah. I would say Seattle if it's no, in it's Seattle. No, it's not in Milwaukee. Right, it's, 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 in Green Bay. it's at okay. Lambeau Field. Right. Uh, for me, I would, I would lean towards Green Bay, but I reserve the right to change my mind. What I will say, what I'm willing to say for the record is this. I believe if Green Bay made the Super Bowl, New England would beat them. Okay. I believe if Seattle made the Super Bowl, Seattle would beat New England. Wait, you're saying I, Seattle at Lambeau? Yes. Oh, okay. I, I've said it about five times. Well, I, I, Wait, I, let me make it six times. Yeah. Uh, Seattle will win if it comes to Lambeau uh -uh. Field. Seattle will win right. at Lambeau. I'm right. willing to say this. My first I'm willing thing I to said. say this definitively. I don't believe there's an AFC team that can beat Seattle, but I do believe they can beat Green Bay. Okay. Uh, on what you're saying, the best in the NFC, Aaron Rodgers said they really have this home field advantage thing down and that it, if it came down to it, they'd beat anyone on their home field. We move on and ask you more about one Aaron Rodgers. This will be a debate.